Welcome if you kiss. We are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with at this time. Whenever you see this video is when it is right for you and if it doesn't resonate then hit check out your other placements of your birth chart and that might help you. Okay so Avalon Magic is what we'll be using here today. Wild Child Oracle Cards and this deck of cards that I don't know the name of but um We'll be using these, okay? They, um, they were given to me years ago with a guidebook, but I don't remember the name of the actual deck. So, yeah. Anyway, let's start with the Avalon Magic. Okay, three cards for a few kiss, please. Oh, I like how that jumped out. Okay, so... Ooh, interesting message up there. Love it. These cards have not come out yet, so I'm loving it. The Fugus leading the way. Is that, do I like how that came out? No. One more card for a Fugus. That's two. I want one, please. One. One card for a Fugus. There we go, that's it. That's exactly it. Alrighty, let's get into it. Okay, so we have, so there's writing on the back here, but I haven't seen what they've said because they've all landed with their pictures up. Um, but I like to see what I get from the picture first um, and then look, read what's on the back. And it doesn't, it's not always the same, which is great because we get more messages through for you. Okay, so this first card here, I am getting you following sort of surrendering and going with the flow I guess you know letting life lead the way um, and also opening your heart and this can be difficult to do right because we don't always see what's in front of us this person is traveling in the fog so she has no idea um, what she's going to come up against and um She's not even, the oars are there and she's not even steering the boat or rowing. She's just letting the boat carry her. And I really, really love this. So definitely at this time, a few kiss, go with the flow, okay? And what does it say? Live your own authentic life with courage to be your true self. Renew your focus. Oh, I love this. I love this. Okay, we'll look at the other two cards as we go along, but we're starting with this card first. Awesome. Okay, a few kiss. Look, two cards for a few kiss for this card, please. There's no title with the card, so just have I'm trusting spirit that um, my guides that we're doing, getting the right messages for you. Okay, so live your own authentic life with courage to be your true self. Oh, I love that. Renew your focus. So we've got the first card out here. Whoops. Okay, that's better. That one jumped rather than fell. Okay, so the first card out here is root. Okay, so. Hmm. This is cool. This is cool. This is all about you growing through. Growing through whatever terrain you are traveling upon. The tree here has found its way around There's this rocky um, ground. And you know, a fucus, this could be representative of the path that you have traveled as being very, very rocky. Um, which is probably an understatement, to be honest. I feel like it's been a whole lot more than rocky for you. Um, but you know, if you kiss, what you've managed to do is you've managed to grow into, into this beautiful tree that not only is still alive, um, but also is able to nurture and give um, goodness to others. Because look at these apples here, right? Um, you're able to grow these fruits. Well, I assume they're apples, but anyway, that doesn't matter. It's not the point. The point is, you have grown into this person who adds value to life, value to other people's lives, 
and um, you are required and needed in this life. And I feel like this here is you, this is your true self. This is you allowing yourself to be your true self, yeah? Two cards for root. Tell me more about this for a fucus, please. Two cards for root for a fucus, please. We almost had the landing on the arm talent. I do get a little bit excited about that. Okay, one more card. Let's, okay. Let's have a look. See, Princess of Pentacles. You know, I feel like this is about an investment of, an investment of your energy, um, learning what to invest your energy into and what not to. It could be also about you learning about um, investments, which with the way the worlds are going, world is going right now, is something that is wise to potentially hold off on. <laughs> I'm not a financial advisor or anything, so, you know, you do what you want to do. But, yeah, um, it's just one little thing that I'm, I've gotten here. But, yeah, I feel like because she's immersed in the ground here, I can't actually see her feet. So I feel like this is you learning how to secure your your foundation, maybe financially, potentially for some of you, but also in your life. Kind of like making your mark on the world, if you like. What's this other card here? Oh, the Nine of Swords. Okay, there's something that's bugging you and keeping you awake at night. Um, this could be money worries. Um, but there's something else here. What is it? What is it? Live your own authentic life with the courage to be your true self. Renew your focus. So not focusing on the things that aren't going well for you. Um, and I feel like I don't want to like minimize what could be going on for you right now because I'm just being reminded of her traveling in the boat here and going with the flow and it's sort of like surrendering I guess would be the best way to put it surrendering and letting things naturally occur just like with the growth of the tree here right this tree is not trying to grow oranges let's pretend it's an apple tree um, it's not trying to go grow oranges or bananas it's trying to grow it's growing what it is designed to grow and i just wonder if that is something that you need to go with the flow of interesting interesting flow <laughs> oh no way yeah go with the flow 100 percent. the cards don't lie right the cards do not lie go with the flow yep thanks for that conf confirmation there oh we've got the full down here too um yeah okay anyway Two cards for the flow, please. Two cards for flow for a few kiss. Mm, do I want that one? Um, I think I do. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet, but I think I do. We've got the Ace of Hearts here. 
So this is a new beginning, yeah, for sure a new beginning, right? A leap of faith here. Um, and, and this is, you know, you, first off, okay, so it could be a new beginning in love, okay? But it's really about what, what are you putting in your cup? It's about love, putting love into your cup, filling your cup with love, okay? Um, because... If, you know, you meet anyone in your life, whether it's romantically, friendship, um, you know, in, in work, whatever, and you have your cup of love that you've filled up, right, you're going to see what's in someone else's cup and you're going to accept nothing less than what is um, matching your cup, yeah? And so, and after this is the two of cups, so that's kind of that match, right? You want exactly what you have in your cup. You don't want to be... Putting your um, energy or your time into filling someone else's cup, okay? Uh, that's up to them to do, not you, all right? Um, so, yeah. this I feel like this Princess of Pentacles is saying, what is it that you want to grow? Really focusing on that. And maybe that has been weighing on your mind a bit. Um, we have the Emperor. We also have the emperor here. So yeah, this is you building your empire. What do you want that to look like? You know, the emperor sits on his throne and admires his emperor empire. He knows, he knows what is required to take care of everything, what he needed to do, what needs nurturing. Um, you know, just like with the root here, he knows where to plant the apple trees so that it is able to um grow to its full potential okay now this apple tree here has not it, it has grown and it is producing fruit 100 percent. but now i'm getting this different message it is not full so if you kiss this is about you making sure that where you plant your seed of yourself is in an environment which is going to nurture you so that you can grow to your full potential. And if that is not the case, then you need to really work out what you need to be doing about that, okay? And I know that for some of you, you may feel like, oh, I can't do that now. It's too late in my life. I couldn't do that now. You always have a choice. Or you're working out how to do that and it's playing on your mind and keeping you up at night. But remember, live your own authentic life with courage to be your true self. Renew your focus. Start, it's time to start focusing on you rather than everyone else around you. Because that's going to reward them. Okay, you're going to be able to produce more luscious, healthier fruit for everyone else then, okay? And, yeah. Oh, that's just dropped on the floor. I'll pick that up in a tick. Okay, so this card here. Lots of different paths to choose from. And there's one path that leads to the top of the hill here. I don't know if that's a lighthouse or a castle, but initially when I seen it, I thought lighthouse. So we're going to go with that, okay? Because I feel like when you jump on that path, which leads to you uh, being able to be live your authentic life, you're going to be that lighthouse. You're going to be able to guide the way for everyone. And sometimes the last part of that path to the lighthouse isn't clear. And sometimes it can seem as though maybe we've chosen the wrong path. But the thing is, that's part of the challenge sometimes is to keep going, to keep going. Yeah, what does it say? The path isn't always a straight line. You come back to things that you thought you understood and see deeper truths. Oh, I love that. I love that. That's cool. Okay. So let's have a look here. Two cards for that card for a few kiss. 
the path isn't always a straight line. You come back to things that you thought you understood and see things and see deeper truths. So true, right? Definitely see things in a different way. Okay, so the first card out here is reach. Reach, reach for the light. Yeah, this is this tree going and this is how this tree grew, right? It reached up to the sunshine. It reached for the things that nurtured it. It reached for the things that replenished it, that gave it all the nutrients that it needed. Okay, and this is what I feel like is important for you to be looking at what, what um, feeds your soul is what you need to have more of. What depletes your soul is what maybe you need to step away from. But always taking responsibility for your own choices. Um, yeah, I'm just going to pick up these cards that I knocked off. Okay, if you could, let's get two cards for reach for you, please. Two cards for reach for a few kiss, please. How that came out. Two cards for a few kiss for reach. And you know what the other thing is about this card here? Is I'm just getting that it, it seems like everyone's reaching for the same thing. But there's like kind of like so much competition in the world and people trying to, you know, get there first or trying to be better than everyone else, whatever. Um, but it's it's that kind of thing, right? Of like we're all reaching for the same thing. We all ultimately want peace and love in our lives. And um, everyone's just going a different way about it. That's interesting that came through. Okay, we've got the Queen of Wands here. The Queen of Wands. <laughs> She's the one who takes care of everyone, right? I feel like this is representative of you. Um, taking care of everyone, making sure everyone else's needs are, are catered for, and you, you're always the one who is not taken care of. So it's time to change that. It's time to renew your focus, okay? So we also have the Ten of Swords here. That's interesting because when I first picked up this deck to show you, the Ten of Swords was on the bottom. So it doesn't surprise me this has come up. So it kept jumping out at me. Ten of Swords, yep. This is what I feel like may be coming up for you again this ten of swords um because when it says the path isn't always a straight line you come back to things that you thought you understood and see deeper truths okay and um maybe this is you seeing how you gave um okay let me rephrase let me start again with that sometimes what happens is we can go through a ten of swords moment and it's, you know, it's that other people may have caused this for us, for example, okay? And we can look at that and just think, wow, I, you know, really went through um, hell with that person and what they did to you, okay? And I'm saying this a few kiss because I've had this experience myself and this is actually reminding me of, uh, and I was going to bring it up before, but I thought, oh no, it's not, you know, appropriate, but you know, I was in a relationship where it was incredibly abusive and um, and I was there for 25 years, you know, because that's what I had known in my life. And then at 46 years old, I decided to leave and not just leave, but move country because I knew that that was needed in order to get away. Um, and I came back to where, you know, um, my birth country. Now I look at that now, at that relationship, and I see how I held space for that person to treat me that way. I can see how I thought I deserved what I was getting. 
Okay, so I can see my role in that situation. I don't blame myself. I don't think I deserved it, you know, but I can see, yes. Okay, so these are the areas that I need to, because I didn't love myself, um, I, yeah, I, I allowed that to happen to me. Now, I wouldn't. <laughs> I would not allow that to happen to myself. But I can, so this is an example to give you, to say to you that with this here, you come back to things that you thought you understood, which initially I thought I understood that, you know, he had been through his own stuff and that's why he was so um, violent or so abusive. Um, but then I saw it in a different light. And I saw a dr deeper truth to it. And how, yes, that was the truth for him, but also the truth for me was this. And that come together, right, to create this Ten of Swords, where I was absolutely, like, didn't even know who I was. So, yeah, I feel like, you know, this is something that you can do. You can build yourself up to um, from this okay so yeah anyway and also this is you know now i'm growing this tree to be a lot fuller and um and more nutritious in my life all right so yeah um anyhow cosmic child look at this beautiful connection with the stars here surrendering and this is like another you know moment that i had in that process of leaving was just surrendering and going do you know what Oh, I can't do this anymore, help me, and um, I got help, so, you know, um, but connecting, you know, connecting with your higher self, connecting with the truth of who you are, um, because there's so much more to us and to life than what we, we can realise sometimes, so yeah, Cosmic Child, oh, I can't believe I just shared that, <laughs> but I did, it's necessary, which is why it kept coming up, so yeah, um, okay, so Cosmic Child for a few, there's two cards for, okay, Ooh, I like that one, I don't know what the second one is, but we've got the full here, new beginning, yes, 100%, which is exciting, right, and, and this is a new beginning, um, which is authentically you, okay, um, when you, we're talking about live your own authentic life, this is the true you, okay, this Cosmic Child, Okay, um, some of you may be star seeds as well, so um, you know that could be something that you tap into or look into. Okay, if you feel like, oh, could I be? Go and look into that. Sure, there's heaps on YouTube. Well, I know there is heaps on YouTube about that. Anyway, the Nine of Pentacles. Look what you're heading towards here, right? This is what you're heading towards by being your authentic self. You are starting on this new beginning and um, along this new path and, and growing the nine of pentacles, right? Wow, like that's incredible. And the nine of pentacles is, yes, it, you know, it's often, you know, the card of being single or whatever. But I, I, I've I never really got that from that Um because I feel like the Nine of Pentacles is just someone who knows how to be independent, someone knows who knows how to, um, you know, take care of themselves in every which way, you know, and this person is allowing themselves to be, live their authentic life, you know, and so this is what I feel like this is saying for you, if you kiss, okay, so um, this card here, interesting. See, I haven't had any of these these ones out for any other signs. So I love, love, love that they've come out for you, Fucus. Okay, so yeah, I think this is about you discovering your internal magic. You you know what what you are actually able to create and and sort of playing with that in a sense. This is all part of your growth, but let's have a read. The light that you are seeking is already within you. <laughs> yes, the light that you're heading towards is already within you. You don't need the lighthouse to lead your way. It's already there. That's why you get to the lighthouse and be there for other people because that's how sh how bright you shine. Anyhow, um, 
So follow those things that bring peace to your soul. Oh, yes, if you guess, yes, 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 I love this. That's exactly what we were talking about before, right? Okay, so two cards for this card. The light for a few kids. The light that you are seeking is already within you. Follow those things that bring peace to your soul. Love it. <laughs> this is so cool. This is a cool reading. Okay. First card out is Mirage. Okay. Oh, the card is upside down. I don't know what that is. But this card here, this person is in the desert, right? And, you know, this terrain here looks like water, um, but it's more than likely desert, yeah? So I feel like that when you, um, when you turn inwards, it's easier for you to see things clearly for what they truly are, okay? And um, and everything will then be revealed for what it is, okay? Because I see the moon here, even though it's a new moon, which represents a new beginning again, the rest of the moon is not invisible, okay? We can see the rest of the moon. So this is seeing things for the whole of what it is. So I really love that because... Um, yeah, that might give you a little bit of faith that by doing this and tapping in and, and living your authentic life, you're not going to travel the same path that you went before that you may not want to travel again. You're going to be able to see things a lot clearer now. Okay, so Mirage. Two cards for Mirage. For a few kiss, please. There it is. One. We've got the Six of Pentacles down there. Oh, and the other one's fallen too. Let me pick those up for you. Okay, yeah, we've got the Queen of Hearts and the Six of Pentacles here. Um, so, um, this is you. Well, first of all, I want to talk about the Queen of Hearts. And I feel as though... You know, this is about what we were talking about earlier about, um, we were talking about this, filling your cup. Um, you know, what what you, what's in your cup, right? And um, what it is that you're going to fill this cup with. Yes, we were talking about this with the Ace of um, Cups, right? Um, and the Queen of Hearts, she knows exactly how to do that. Okay, she's already learned how to do that. She's been through the journey from the ace, and now she's the queen. So this is this, um, I feel like all this that has come out here is giving you, um, you know, these ideas as to how to do that for yourself in a sense. Okay, um, and the six of pentacles here. Um, this card here is interesting because I was getting drawn to the leaves below it and... I wonder if you feel like you're not quite secure, potentially, okay, in your finances. But I do want to say, especially with this mirage here, it may feel like there's not enough, but not everything is it seems is as it seems, okay. Um, if you're Feeling that way, what is going to happen if you guess is you're going to attract more of that. Okay, if you feel like you don't have enough, you not you know, then there's never going to be enough. But see, this is what the Queen of Hearts does. She knows that what she needs, she already has. Okay, she has everything she needs. Okay, so I feel like this is relating to this Nine of Swords here. And, you know, this Ten of Swords too, potentially. Um, that there may have been a time in your life where you didn't have enough. And um, there's this fear within you of going back there. Okay, and, um, and maybe this is coming up again. Because you need to see a different truth about it. And maybe you need to learn a new way 
of manifesting what it is that you want or seeing that, in fact, you are catered for. You know, you have everything you need. If you were to get all the food in the world all at once, right, you wouldn't be able to eat it all. You don't want that. You need things to come to you. Um... In a way that isn't, um, you know, that things aren't going to go to waste, right? So, yeah, I feel like I want one more card for this, though. One more card for Mirage. Oh, my stomach's rumbling. Talking about food, I guess. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, finding a new way to um, grow what it is that you need to grow, okay, um, and this could even be a new beginning in a business, right, um, but yeah, you know, this is, this is the thing, you've got, you know, this ace of pentacles here to begin with, how are you going to invest it, what, you know, and this ace of pentacles can represent anything in your life, in your life, not necessarily just finances, but really looking at how are you going to grow it um, and use it because the rest of the, um, the journey with the pentacles is up to you. Okay, you have to do the work behind it. Manifesting isn't just about sitting there and hope, you know, wishing for something and hoping it comes. You have to take action. Okay, and you have to take inspired action. Okay, so when you feel the inspiration to go and do something, go do it. Okay, um, so yeah. Alrighty, so the last card here is slumber. Okay, yep. You know, there's time for um, action and there's time for rest, right? Um, so this is about feeling protected, about having those around you who help you to feel protected. Okay, so two cards for slumber, please. We've got the King of Wands here. So this could be someone in your life who um, maybe is a, um, a fire sign. So Aries, Sagittarius or Leo who may be able to help you feel a little bit more protected. Okay. Well, one more card for slumber for a few kiss, please. We've got the Four of Pentacles here. Yeah, see this is... This is this fear of losing what you already have. But I feel like the fear, um, you know, is, is causing, is sort of creating this energy of I don't have enough. And then that's what you're always finding. So just look at that energy that you are putting out there. Um, so, yeah. Do we want one, one more card for slumber, please? One more card for slumber for a few kiss. Oh, we've got two. Okay. Like this is going to be a different message because this is this isn't all about the pentacles, but we've got the two of hearts and the seven of swords. Yeah, see, this is still about what energy are you putting out? Okay, but remember, I was talking about the two of hearts coming after the ace. Okay, and this is this making sure there's a match to your what's in your cup. Okay, because um, there's this fear again of um. You know, having all these swords thrown at you. And, um, yeah. So I feel like it's really about what you, um, the energy that you're emitting and what it is that you're vibrating, okay? You will bring back to you. So this is clearly about the manifestation process here, okay? Um, because you've had that before. You don't want that to happen again, but um, I think you really need to have faith as to what your ability um, is to put into your cup so that you know you're not going to attract this kind of energy again, okay? So, yeah. Okay, Hifucus, that is it for you, okay? I hope this helps you, and please, Hifucus, take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.